Stories for your community has spent nearly a century now, coming up on 99 years, on the front lines fighting for veterans. Joining us to discuss that mission is Dan Stack, CEO of Disabled American Veterans of Massachusetts. Great to have you with us here. Thank you very morning. much. Appreciate it. Let's start with an overview of the organization. First off, not affiliated with the government in any way, but staffed predominantly by veterans working for veterans. Correct. Uh, since 1920, the DAV has been diligently working to procure benefits for veterans. Uh, we do that through our National Service Officer Program. Uh, they're like trained uh, workman compensation attorneys, so if a veteran is injured, either physically or with hidden wounds, we actually take their case before the Veterans Administration to get them their proper compensation. Also, we have a transportation program that uh, basically tours the state of Massachusetts. Uh, we, have six, we have 26 vans in action right now taking veterans to and from their VA medical appointments. Uh, the biggest thing happens to be our legislative program, so we're actively working within the state to procure benefits for veterans, and more importantly, legislatively, nationally, to make sure that the veterans of the future are taken care of us, especially when you're talking about like what we did with Agent Orange or right. even mustard gas for World War I, but currently the burn pits that uh, the veterans were exposed to overseas currently. So, so yeah, a wide range of we, uh, we try a lot of things, there. that's great. What are the biggest focal points that you have, though, when you look at the current needs of current veterans? The current need of current veterans right now happens to be, in my particular thing, happens to be more pain medication, or, or I should say pain management. A lot of the veterans that we have suffer from a great deal of physical injuries, and they have pain because of that. Uh, so one of the things that DAV is doing right now is we have partnered up with uh, ATV, another nonprofit organization known as Alternative Treatment for Veterans. And through a study that is being conducted by the Cannabis Community Care and Research Network, we're trying to show that veterans do use cannabis in order to help themselves with pain management and also with post-traumatic stress disorder. The, uh, it's only in its infant stages. We have about 140 veterans that have kind of signed up so far, and of that, 67% show that they are utilizing some form of cannabis for their pain management. So At the end of the day, trying to get to the root of the issue. Yes, and, and, an and what people don't understand, it was the disabled American veterans in 1977 that actually funded the study by Dr. John Wilson in Cleveland State University that from that study came the diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder. So the DAV was very fundamental in how today veterans are treated that suffer from PTSD. You're also now, expanding your work with, uh, with the homeless veterans as well, with yes, uh, finding we've been, jobs uh, as well. Yeah. And, and you also do have several events that are coming up as well. So we do, before we go, want to pass along the, the website where people can, can turn uh, if they want to support any of it. If they want to come online with us, it's DAV.org uh, is our national website or DAVMA.org is our local website. And yes, we're, for, when you talk about fundraising, all these programs do take money. We're very fortunate that Liberty Mutual Insurance Company has uh, a Liberty Mutual Invitational, and that uh, that's going to be on May 20th at Granite Links, and they're, they're, all those proceeds go into our transportation program. I told you three minutes would fly by with all that you it. did have yeah. to talk about. Good night. Thank you enough thank for you running much. through what Appreciate DAV it. is all about. Much appreciated. We'll be right back. Thank you.